Welcome to Championship Mode Collective, the third episode in the series. Today in the life of a PwC consultant, we're gonna start with our evening prep. Check out the evening prep before you dive into episode three. Traveling to the client. We're well, traveling to the client this week for the next two weeks. Let's assume we don't know that, right? Evening prep is pretty simple. Check our calendar. Step one, what do we got to do? I fixed my calendar before I left the office, but I'm not quite confident. I gotta check that tomorrow morning. Step two, prep for the morning workouts. Now, this one's pretty simple. I'm back on the workouts since this morning. Literally, I packed everything away and I know where everything is. My most important item! My workout mat. Shoes, check. Uh, pants, check. Top, check. Mat. Most important thing I need for my workouts, check. So I'm just going to pack the nice in the corner and be ready for tomorrow morning. Step number three in the evening prep. This is pretty much figuring out where are we this week? Are we at the client? Are we traveling to the client? Are we working remote? And we are traveling to the client. What that means is I don't have to do meal prep, but I do have have to pack for the next two weeks. Comfort is really important for me. So whether it's working remotely, traveling to the client, or going to the office, comfort is top, top, top for me. is really full and I haven't even put my gym clothes in here so tomorrow morning will be interesting last step for evening prep is basically winding down the evening and sleeping at a decent time so I think that's gonna be pretty easy for me today because there's formula on only like 10 minutes uh, starts at 8 ends at half nine then just listen to the post race analyses that'll take me up to 10 and yeah i should be in bed by 10 30 ish 11 unless i decide to watch a series i try to keep the series on the minimum yeah that's pretty much the last thing just sleeping at the same time so if i sleep before 11 perfecto because that means seven hours of sleep good morning officially day one skip breakfast because i'm gonna eat in the lounge of the airport so it's local travel which means i just carry my id and my license for the car rental and i just need to make sure all of the safety precautions we know the insurance policies and i mean i've done this every month since december so yeah that part pretty much a lot gotta keep safe all that left is for me to catch my uber carry my things and i'm carrying so many things but let's go been in the uber for about 10 minutes now so heading to the airport pretty smooth so far running on time which i'm really impressed about considering all the prep i had to do so yeah going to airlink uh, I've been here before, so I literally know <laughs> where the counters start. So, just gotta roll on. Find more spot in the queue. The queue was longer, but now it's pretty chilled. Just gotta wait my turn. Just gotta wait my turn. It goes by pretty quickly. That's what I can say about Airlink. Very, very good service. So, yeah, let's chill out. Because I use a soft bag to travel, I asked for a ziplock just to, to tie the zips together and I also asked for a fragile sticker because just so that the guys handling the bags know that, you know, let's be gentle on this because sometimes initially when I used to travel I used to get it back dirty so I was kind of like, ah, cool, you know, let me use the fragile sticker just so that people don't mishandle the bag so um, one of the air hostess is helping me with the fragile sticker. So I got my air hostess to say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> She's been really so nice. Made it past security. <laughs> so I tried to record before and after, right? Because I knew they wouldn't let me record. Right? They chewed me immediately. As I tried to put up my camera, they were just like, mm -mm, can you not see the sign? No image processing. So, yeah, got through security. So now just walking to the lounge. The lounge is not that difficult to find. Just go down the escalators and here we are. So that's why I skipped breakfast. 
because the breakfast is much nicer here. <laughs> also, I was just lazy to make breakfast. So, yeah, settled. That's literally the entrance, the escalators I came from. And these are sitting arrangements. So you can see this place is pretty cool. Right, let's do a walking tour. So, probably wondering how I get access to the lounge. So it's pretty simple, through my bank. Right, so they got a whole breakfast array. If you're into your yogurts, if you're into your eggs and your tunas, and they have a drinks cabinet, uh, the alcohol is closed before 12. So, yeah, pretty much that's it. Just have to figure out what I want to have for breakfast. They are beans. They are beans slabs. So I usually just go for that. Anyways, I get access to the lounge through my bank. I'm on the private client account, aka black card. <laughs> Every bank's got a black card now, so it's not that it's not that difficult. So yeah, it's actually very nice, you know. You take care of yourself, you chill a bit easier, you know, some nicer things in life because wow, so is economy, eh? Breakfast is served. Let me close this laptop. I will do the calendar things later. Let me enjoy this meal. Moving on to checking the calendar. Once I do this, I'll be much more at ease because I can meditate on how my day is going. Gonna go, right? Okay, we made it. Here we go. Okay, we made it. They were never gonna leave me. So now, gotta enter the actual bus, which is very, very full. Hey, it looks really good. I just made a friend. <laughs> so cool. Everybody be asking me if I'm a YouTuber. Yes, yes, I am. But yeah, it's kind of loud. I hope you guys can hear, but pretty much that's the flight. People are queuing in. I like to enter the plane last so that there's no hassles. Everyone is seated because, yeah, I get anxious sometimes. So, yeah, this just works for me. I soak in from some sun. Mm, feels really, really good. And, yeah, hopefully we can have a safe flight, right? That is what matters at the end of the day. So, yeah, let's go. Let's rock. Uh, a bit tired because I was trying to sleep on the flight but arrived made it just picked up the rental so now I'm gonna get my bags and then we're driving for like 40 45 minutes they always hook me up with nice cars when I catch you <laughs> I wanted them to give me an SUV they were like nah this, this Corolla actually rocks so arrived I'm actually at the hotel not the client I just have so many things so I'm just like ah, let me drop them Ah, my knees. Let me drop them at home, you know. And then when I go to the client, you know, I'm like chilled about it, right? Pretty nice place, actually. Very, very nice. So that's the restaurant area, then the hotel is more towards the left. All settled. Got my sparkling water. Was able to drop off my items. Let's go to the client now. The sun is really nice. Too bad I can't just sit and bum in the sun, eh? Eh? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. How are you guys doing? Okay, having a slow day today. Well, I want to have a slow day today. About to do the breakfast thing. Simple breakfast, omelette with some fillings. I have like two hours of meetings that I want to take. So I don't want to rush to the office. Just take it easy, do the meetings from the hotel. The views are pretty nice, right? Yeah, so do that. Run to the office and then finish with one meeting at 10 30 hopefully that's my last meeting of the day and i can put in some work so so far so good it's cloudy today and yeah my throat is doing the flu things <laughs> so i need to get meds on my way back from work but let's go
dollar okay got to the client about two hours ago so really stuck into my work day it's quarter to 11 making some progress on both these laptops <laughs> prioritizing helps having a calendar helps just telling people where to find you at specific times really really just helps it just sucks that i'm coming on with the flu so i went to get meds just to take care of myself it sucks when you're sick away from home it's about 11 three or four hours left in the day we gotta go and get it Let's go get it. Let's go home. Let's go home. Yeah, not feeling. <laughs> really well my energy has but gonna go home gonna try stretch go to the gym for a bit maybe that'll make me feel better yeah coming down with the fever i got mad so they'll i think they'll probably started kicking in but yeah another day another dollar Hey, finally made it. <laughs> the days just blurred together at one point. Yeah, last last day. Time to go back home. It's been good. It's it's been hard as well. Uh, lots lots to get through as well as also balancing what I need to do from from PLVC side. Uh, struggle to stay consistent with the gym, but I, I managed to save it at the end of it. But feeling good. It's gonna be a super chill day. I would, I would like to go home and just relax, but I have a presentation due on Monday. So, consult it, right? Let's end on a high. Last, last, let's roll. We're gonna head to breakfast and get back and then start packing. Checking out of my room. Was able to work in the meantime. It's now quarter to ten. Gotta start heading out now. And on gas, last, last. Now everybody chop breakfast. Check out my reception. I have done my time. Let me out of here. I have to say bye bye, yo. To the love of my life, oh, my eye, oh. Don't cry, I need a bow. Okay, let me stop being dramatic. <laughs> I mean, I've been here for 12 days 
11 nights made friendships come on it sucks a bit it sucks a bit might be my last trip might not be my last trip i'm not sure but you know what god has been good let me go home let me rest up let me settle back into my life thank you for watching and as always stay in championship mode